Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, already started mixing the epoxy. Just put side A into side B. I've only been mixing for maybe a minute. Um, I wanted to do a quick video. Um, a friend's mom is actually ordering two wine racks, one for my friend, her daughter, and her son's wife. Um, so I actually started another one and I trashed it because for some reason that mold, it was one of the ones that I made, it, it, it left the bottom wavy and even my one of my other molds did the same thing so I'm gonna have to fix that or just make a new mold get blanks out of it and then actually pour silicone mold silicone and have something similar to this because the, those homemade molds that they're good and all but honestly I should be making clear blanks or, I mean, it doesn't even have to be clear, but clear just to get the shape and then pour my own silicone mold. Because, I mean, you do get a few uses out of your, your homemade ones. And it's cool because, you know, they're unique. They're your own shape. You know, your own little touches that nobody else's will ever have because you personally made it no one will ever be able to 100 percent duplicate it it might look similar but yours will always be unique and that's why i like doing it so i'm gonna have to start making like making the molds and then you know just making blanks and using silicone the the liquid mold making silicone I should have done that, but thanks to COVID and everything else, you know, it's kind of killed my sales. A lot of people aren't buying custom works right now. Which, thankfully, you know, my man still has work, so we're not, you know... We're still able to afford the bills and stuff, but. Yeah. It'd be nice to get some orders, which I, I do here. Um, this is the first one, and I'd say probably a couple of months. Everything you guys have been seeing me make, really, I've just been messing around making stuff. Someone did ask me about a cup, but they wanted, it was some kind of Disney, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I immediately said no. I mean, I know there's a lot of you other makers out there who will gladly jump on that, but what you should know is Disney has people out there looking for people like us who are making money off their stuff so for all I know that could I could have been you know getting secret shopped but that's a lawsuit I don't want or need now for those of you who only just mix in one cup you just watch me dump in this one and really scrape the sides because there is still unmixed epoxy on the sides of your on the side of your cup and if you don't do that you know do this you're, you're gonna be left with unmixed epoxy and that's why some of you will have um, the soft the soft spots and little sticky spots and stuff and it's because of the unmixed epoxy that came out off the sides of your cup onto your cup or your workpiece and that's because it's not mixed properly. You always want to mix, finish your mix, 
in a second clean cup. I know it's more time, you know, more trash, which I'm trying to do my part into eliminating how much I do throw away, because if not, I'd be throwing away six to eight cups right now instead of three. Yeah, like I was saying, I immediately turned that down. As soon as, you know, I saw Disney or anything copyrighted, I said, no, I'm sorry, I can't do it. And I won't do it. There's some of you out there who will, and it might be tomorrow, it might be in 10 years, might be in 15 years, but you will get caught in Disney. The NFL, you know, whoever will show you, you know, just how un-Disney, you know, they can be. Disney viciously protects its copyright. And I don't want to be on the other side of that. So I immediately said no. So I'm grateful for, you know, my friend's mom ordering this for her. Put a little extra money in my pocket for Christmas for my kids. I'm sure what I'm babbling on about, most of y'all don't really care, but... Alrighty. Let's get to the fun part, huh? Now the one I was gonna do, like, geode style, but then I kinda had a flashback to my white and black marble tray. And Felicia really likes red and black. So do I. And I was like, you know what? I should do that with the red and black for her. I bet it would look so cool. bit more yeah this is probably gonna end up spilling over into like a coaster or something for Felicia because this is definitely gonna be too much for just this one tray so probably end up doing a coaster for her oh so I just dripped into the mall good thing I'm about to be using it huh I'm pretty messy when it comes to crafting. I try to be clean and not so messy, but they say art is messy, don't they? So I've always, oh, no, you must go in the trash. You cannot sit on the floor. Okay. Now this is like kind of plagued with bubbles, which will be all right. It will be. It'll be okay. Alright, so I shouldn't have stuck those in the clear ones just yet. Oh well. Actually I got a little spoon. Nifty little thing. Okay. This is the first time I'm using this red, so I'm gonna see how it looks mixed, and that's why I have this pulled out. So if I need to mess with the color a tiny bit, I can. I've never seen how this looked mixed in resin. I haven't used the red yet. And it kind of looked a bit orange to me in the bag. Well, 
that's pretty. I don't think I'm going to need that. I like this. Am I on? There we go. This is a very pretty. It's very pretty. I like that. Okay. Cool. Now I know what that looks like mixed in resin. I'll go with the black. I just love how satiny and everything the black is. I know I'm sure some of you were screaming, bubbles! It's okay. It's totally okay. I don't freak too bad over bubbles. see how that looks. That should be good. I don't want to overdo it with copper either. So I, I kind of want some clear. This is so pretty. This is definitely going to end up very, very pretty. I think I should add a little more, to be completely honest. I don't want it too, too saturated with it, but I don't want it to be too clear either. That should be more than good.
My table still isn't exactly level. Can you still see it? Let me move this up some. There we go. Actually, let's bring it down a little. There we go. Looks like crap now. They usually do. <laughs> um, I'll play with it a little bit. I think I might throw some in a coaster. This is definitely going to end up needing a clear coat. I don't know. We'll see. Um, i got to pull out my coaster mold and clean it up real fast. But when I come back, you'll see the coaster. Alright. Bye, guys. This is just a little bit of letting it do its thing after I played around with it. I apologize for how crappy the picture looks. It's the back camera of this phone. I broke the camera glass a long time ago and it's just, it's crap. But as you can see, you know, it's changed a lot, moved. Um, this should set pretty quickly because I am using the KS Resin Liquid Stone and that it, cure, it usually cures up pretty quickly, especially if it's kept warm. I'm sure you could hear my space heater going on. Look at this mess. All that, that's all resin. I ended up, instead of coasters, I did a couple keychains. Felicia, Bella, Ryan, her two kids. Um, I thought she might like that, especially in her favorite colors. Um, once this is ready to demold, I will be back later. Um, I know I was supposed to come back during the demolding, but during that time, I realized once that mica powder that I used cures, whether it's the heat of the resin or something, this isn't the color that I had really expected. 
it turned more of an orange. So I pulled this out of the mold and ended up putting the copper edging on it. Um, I put a clear coat on. Looks like there was like a little bubble here. I could fill that in, go back over that, and that'll be no problem. I still got to do the sides. This one, uh, I'm just going to sell. You know, whoever likes these colors, likes this piece, you know, I'm going to put this one up for sale. I ordered, um, what is it? Puppy Love Resin Art pigment from color art <clears throat> I will put a link down in the description to color art they are a bit expensive but from what I've seen they are worth it I've been following Tammy Anderson on YouTube I think I mentioned her in another post or video sorry um, Tammy Anderson Art, she has a coupon code for the color art. Um, I'm not an affiliate. I have been dying to try it because of her channel. And it, it just looks amazing. Like, it, it's better than any mica powders out there. But how much was... I can't remember the size of the jar that I bought, but it was $16.99 just for one pigment and I bought this whole box for I want to say 17 so you know I got all this for you know pretty much the same price as one of those but they are so worth it and I want to try their um, their paint pigments which those you can't use in resin, you know, it's specifically formulated to, you know, dissolve in, oh god, I can't remember the, the term for, it's like the paint base, you know, it dissolves in the paint base, and the resin art pigments are specifically designed to dissolve into resin, now you can use the primary elements in resin but you have to have some of that paint base to break it down a little bit and then add it to your resin or else it will not dissolve in your resin I should have that most likely Monday so I'm gonna be doing another one of these for Felicia with the resin art which that one is going to be red I, I know for a fact I, I don't have to second guess it you know, I know that's going to be red, not this pinkish, orangish, which is still pretty. It's still gorgeous. And actually, because of this, I think I'm actually going to do one piece that's all black and the, the copper with the clear like that. I love how the black, how the other colors, the black especially, interact with the clear and around the copper leafing. So I'm definitely going to be making one of those too. Um, keep an eye out for that video. Um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to get an ending to this video because at first I was just going to scrap it like, you know, screw it, it didn't turn out how I wanted it, but you know what, it may have not turned out the way I wanted, but it is still a beautiful piece. Don't let your failures get you too down, which this I wouldn't call a failure it's just not the color I was expecting I should have went ahead and added that paint in like I was going to but oh well oh my dog's yelling at me she wants me to take her potty is that right you gotta go potty yeah you got potty tell me you got a potty okay okay Alrighty, alright guys, I will put some pictures up of this outside in some better lighting. I get it, hang on. At the end, you know, coming up. <laughs> um, alright, I'll see you guys for the next video, which will be 
this one back here. This one. Whoops, my hand's in the way. This turned out pretty amazing. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later.